Hello, everyone. Before I begin, I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a very happy and blessed New Year. Today, this New Year's Day, we celebrate the life of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gospel today comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 16 to 21. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him. And everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Way back in the year 431, there was a bitter controversy among theologians over the role of Mary in the Catholic Church. They debated the question, who is Mary in God's plan? In the end, the bishops declared that Mary is really the mother of Jesus, and Jesus is really God. So it must be said that Mary is the mother of God. The oldest Christian greeting of Mary was proclaimed when Mary's relative Elizabeth called her the mother of my Lord. She did this when Mary was welcomed by Elizabeth because Elizabeth recognised both the great privilege God had given Mary and Mary's great faith in accepting it. For centuries, Mary has been praised because she believed. She is the mother of God because of her faith in God. And this solemnity of Mary, mother of God, celebrates Mary's faith and trust in God alone. Today, our challenge that we might reflect on is that the church wants us to imitate Mary's faith. And so today we ask, Mary, Holy Mother of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Again, a very happy and blessed New Year to you all. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow to share some more of these Gospel Reflections with you. God bless.